you kidding me? Oh, and here we go. <laughs> we just rapid fired like probably like 20. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with some more creations. So the first creation we're going to be checking out here today, which let me go ahead and grab it. It's actually a part of the, uh, the solid rocket booster update, which we really haven't played with that at all. And maybe eventually we'll be able to do a creation with it. But check this thing out. There we go. This is the mini shuttle. This is by Mr. Semi. So this is just one of the creations we're going to check out. We're also going to be checking out a flying VTOL that's also a submarine. And I'm telling you folks, it's probably one of the most amazing things I've seen in Stormworks. Now, as far as where are the build episodes? Well, the build episode will be coming up. I'm currently moving houses, so I don't have as much time to sit down and build for a couple hours. So that's why we're going to do a creations episode here today. But the build episode should be here in a couple of days, if you're going to ask for that. Now, I do have the links for these creations down in the description. If you want to check anything out you see in today's episode, you can go there. And if you guys are enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button it helps out my channel and let's go to space so I'm kind of curious Stormworks seems to really be uh, pushing these little solid rocket boosters could the next biome be maybe space could you imagine that space works that would be so awesome all right so let's go ahead and jump into this little uh, mini shuttle here what can go wrong right well, let's go and close the hatch all right so we're gonna set here so what we got brakes set altitude altitude hold okay so that's the thruster spoiler throttle does this need a does that need to be up I'm not really sure if it does or doesn't huh let's up that okay I think we're fine okay so let's go ahead and go unlock starter and three two one blast off Ooh, oh, oh okay that was a bit of an odd takeoff there so yeah check that out you've got the normal jet engines in the back but you've got the uh oh. Um, Houston, we might have an issue. I hear the solid rocket boosters going off, but we're not going up. Hold on. Okay, those just detached. Uh, okay, no, now we're going up. Okay, so that's a thing. This is really cool, actually. Hold on, can I steer this? Maybe I should be steering this up. Yeah, that would probably be uh, smart of me to do. Oh, that's incredible. I want to actually play around with these boosters, but question is... What can we do with these? Uh, you guys might have some suggestions. I mean, I guess we could just make a Komodo rocket, which, uh, you know, would probably end in something terrible happening. Uh, let's look around. Navigation lights. Turn those on. Okay, so those are up all the way. So let's set an altitude here. Let's say, I don't know, 5,000? That sounds pretty good. Okay, and let's go hold altitude. Oh, there it goes. Wait a minute. Did I go negative 5? Okay, no, it just wants to do a backflip first. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? We're going to turn off the altitude hold. I think I should probably manually do this. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. I mean, it's a mini shuttle. Oh, uh, that's awesome. Uh, maybe we'll start seeing some more uh, full-size ones. There's been a couple full-size ones in Stormworks that we played with, but none that have actually had the uh, the rocket boosters on it. It's just the, the jet engines in the back, what you're seeing here. So, yeah, there's a, a bunch of potential with that update. I just didn't want to really ignore it because we haven't really done anything with it. Uh, but hopefully we'll see some more updates with that here soon. But, yeah, very cool creation. You know what? We're going to go down and see if we can land this thing. All right, folks, we have the runway lined up. Can Komodo pilot his way to success? Is there a parachute just in case I need it? Um, I don't see one. Okay, pull up. Wait, is this thing automatically thrust up? Okay, the engine restarted. I thought maybe it thrusted itself back up when I started to pull up. Okay, let's go ahead and kill engines. All right, let's, uh, okay, this is pro definitely not the way we're supposed to be doing this. Uh, crank those back up. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Nailed it! That was perfect landing. Uh, maybe 10 out of 10? What would you guys give that landing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the 10 out of 10. All right, we probably should get out of this thing. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's perfectly fine. All right, let's just get up here. Hold on, let's close that. That way it doesn't... Oh, never mind. Well, uh, there goes the shuttle. Good episode. Uh, wait, where was the creative base? Oh, it, there it is. <laughs> that was our target. Yeah, we didn't even come close to that one. All right, so let's go uh, check out the next creation. 
All right, so this is the Big Daddy. This was the creation that is at the top of the workshop that I wanted to check out. Now, we've checked out several fighters like this. Uh, this is by Lorgs, and it's the kind of the Mana Ray style fighters. Uh, there's been some with missiles on it. There's been really cool VTOL style craft. Well, this is like the ultimate craft here. This thing can go into the water and actually be worked as a submarine, but it also functions in the air too. And I swear maybe we've checked out a creation like this as far as something that's uh, both for the air and the water, but I don't think it's ever been done on this scale, and this is rather impressive. So there is a bit of instructions to read. Uh, to go over because there is several things you have to do before you actually get into the water obviously if it's a jet engine or something if it touches the water while I guess still spinning up it will blow the engines so we need to make sure that we kill those and there's just really several things to look at because yeah you're gonna have to be careful with this craft but it is absolutely epic looking by the way if you're wanting to know what this thing's called it's called the obscure ray I actually really like that name alright so we want to go ahead lock this down Ooh, look at this uh, that's a pretty unique looking cockpit. All right, we'll go down there and do a little tour once we get in the air. It should actually really help with the frame rate as soon as we get up and out of the hangar here. So, VTOL, unlock rockets. Wait, this thing's got rockets in it? Bridge lights, power up. Uh, let's see, main power. All this is already on. So, yeah, I've gone over quite a bit of the, uh, the instructions on the workshop, but I'm still probably going to wind up screwing something up. VTOL engines, propulsion... Okay, it's kind of reading where all these uh, buttons are. All right, so we need to hit the starter button. All right, here we go. Power up. Okay, look at that. It's got loading screens and stuff. Oh, that is cool. All right, so airborne mode. Okay, so we got all these little screens. Oh, check out the cameras. This is ridiculous. So you can see there's a uh, map there. Uh, you got your gimbal camera here in the front. You've got a, I guess, a system reading over here. Uh, submarine mode checklist. There's checklist and everything. This is this is ridiculous. Like, man, how do you do this? All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's turn on the front lights. Let's see, we don't need the flood lights on. Let's see, ground anchors. There's a submarine propeller. So I'm assuming we're ready to go ahead and start with the. Uh, okay, there's submarine mode. There's just so much. I'm almost uh I'm almost overwhelmed right now. Okay, so I'm assuming we just go VTOL engines, on. Do I need propulsion engines? Let me go over the checklist again from the uh, from the workshop here. So it just says, okay, I do need both. And the uh, landing gear is automatic, so let's go boom. Okay, that one's going to turn on. All right, so submarine mode is locked right now. All right, so the submarine mode, I think, is locked because the jet engines are on. Hold on, let's get out of the hangar here. Oh, oh, okay. All right, be careful, Komodo. Let's not destroy this thing. Oh, okay, propulsion. I don't know why the camera is... I guess the camera is so far back because of the tail on this thing. Hold on, we can zoom that in a bit. Okay, you're hearing a bunch of, uh, sounds like explosions. That's just me, uh, I'm blipping the throttle trying to get it out of this before we fully, like, engage and go forward. Okay, let's get the, uh, the tail out. Man, this thing is ridiculous looking. Like, in a good way, by the way. <laughs> Wow, okay, almost clear. Let's go ahead. All right, let's start to lift up here. There we go. There it goes. And look at that. It starts to kind of even move around a little bit like it's flying. All right. Like, I mean, just easy. It's so easy to fly. So I saw a couple things over here. So we have an altitude hold. So I'm assuming that holds to the current altitude. So we can click that on on the touch screen. Is that what it's doing? Yes, it is. And then there's an autopilot. So, oh, actually, you know what? Altitude set's down here. So let's go ahead and set. Oh, no, I want to be setting in this. Uh, let's go altitude set. Let's set the altitude. Before we do any submarine stuff, let's go. Actually, let's go higher than that. Let's go about 1,000 maybe. So we'll go 1,000. Let's go altitude hold. So that's probably going to make us start to go up. There it goes. And we can set a GPS mode, and we're ready to go. So here's your readings down here. Batteries at 99.9%, fuels at 98.6%. There's your knots, uh, how fast we're going. There's our altitude, distance to ground. This thing has it all. Like, this is such an advanced craft. Uh, let's see. There's your gimbal, so I can move it up and down. It's got zoom. There's your infrared mode here. Uh, oh, there's other cameras. There's one off the back. All right, so we got two cameras there. We got a uh, radar display up here. I'm assuming that would be uh, very useful once we get underwater. Man, this is crazy. 
<laughs> All right, so we're up to our designated altitude, so we're moving forward now. So it's got a fire rocket button. What does that mean? Is there... Wait, is that a rocket? I don't know. Hold on, let's go fire rocket. Uh, no? Oh, wait, what? Uh, I don't really... I don't know what's going on there. Oh, what was that? Uh, okay, so I'm hitting the fire rocket button. There's a potential that I'm doing something wrong here. I don't even know what it is. Uh, let's see. Display ground anchors, rockets. I don't wonder if it's just... Maybe it is like a... A solid booster or something that gives you a speed boost potentially. Oh, let's try that. All right. I don't think it's actual uh, weapons. Uh, I could be wrong though. Uh, no, it seems to be moving at one speed here. Oh, look at this thing. Let's look at the underside. Let's see if I see anything. Uh, no, nothing really visual. There's the gimbal camera. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Oh, those look like they might would have been rockets, but I don't think they are actually. Oh, let's let this thing level out real quick. We're going to dive down into the water here in just a second. I want to see if we can walk around. I uh, better put this on, too. Uh, let's see. Door. So here's crew cabins. Let's go and get the lights on here. Uh, bathrooms. Uh, medical bay. Uh, oh, look. It's got a little systems uh, thing over there. That's cool. Uh, that's probably rescue winch. That feels like... Is that the tail section? Uh, that's almost to the tail. I don't think it's in the tail. So we can go there. Get some lights on here. There is a downstairs. I'm assuming this is maybe storage. Actually, that looks dangerous. Hold on. Stand on this. Oh, yep. That was dangerous. I'm glad I'm actually on the ladder here. Oh, that was the way in. I actually climbed up on the side to get into this thing. But you could have done it from this, I'm assuming. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's go back up into here. I don't think I want to be hanging out here. Uh, this would be a really good rescue craft, uh, to be honest with you. Like, it would work really well. You've got a harness in the back. you got medical beds. Uh, yeah, it's really, really stable. Uh, what's this? Okay, it's just the uh, monitors and stuff. So, there's some other stuff on here. we got heaters. Okay, so we're going to keep all this on. There's the VTOL. Okay, keep at 10. Increases for only heavy lifting. So, yeah, there's a winching system on the bottom. So, you would increase the VTOL engines up in order to do some heavy lifting. Oh, is this our rockets button? Hold on, let's go unlock rockets. All right. Oh, it does have rockets. So, fire rocket barrage. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, and here we go. <laughs> we just rapid fired, like, probably, like, 20 missiles. That's what those were. Okay. So, it wasn't, like, a boost or anything. It was literally uh, rockets. All right. So, let's go ahead. We're going to put in a coordinates for this thing. Uh, let's go up north. That way, hopefully, we can get into some fairly deep water here. So we'll go boom, autopilot, and then we're just going to click this button here on the dash. Boom. There it goes. All right. It's going to turn and take us to our destination. Yes. All right. We're looking like we're not over any sort of islands right now. You know what? Maybe we should stop here. So let's turn off our autopilot. So we have a submarine uh, checklist here. And really, it's just turn off the propulsion engines. So VTOLs can stay on. Propulsions need to go off. So we're going to go boom. All right, so we need to wait for the, uh, the RPS propulsion one. What about the VTOL one? This one needs to be down to zero. Let me double check. Or this one needs to be at zero. Actually, it looks like they're both going down. All right, let's move our altitude down. We want to get down towards the water. We're about 1,000 to the ground. Uh, let's just get down to 500 real quick. So let's go 500. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reset that system there. All right, so we should be... Yeah, we're lowering right now. And I'll double check, uh, see if there's anything else we need to do. Oh, it already went to step two. So I can keep the VTOL engines on? Or... Hold on, I'm going to double check that real quick. I don't want to blow this thing up. Right, I got a visual on the water here. So what we're going to do... It says just turn off the jet engines. I'm assuming the VTOL engines need to be off too. Uh, I think. On, let's go ahead. All right, switch those off. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know if we can land with those or not. To me, those are the same as the other engines. And I, I feel like we're going to blow up the craft if we land in this. On, so it just says step two, land in the ocean. We turn off the propulsions. I'm assuming the VTOLs can be on, which I don't know if that's a thing or not. Okay, you know what? All right, let's turn them off now. There we go. All right, so, oh, can those be on? Maybe they are fine. 
Uh, and turn off VTOL engines and... Oh, there it goes! Oh, so we land in the water with the VTOLs on. So it actually... How does it know to do this? Like, it's going through the checklist. But, like, we're not even doing anything. Like, there it goes. It went to the next one. Turn on submarine mode. Like, how in the heck is this possible? <laughs> okay, this might be one of the most advanced crafts I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and turn on submarine mode. Okay. Oh, just went red. Okay, submarine mode activated. Use altitude hold to set depth. Use throttle lever and move to keep stable. So yeah, that was one of the warnings here with this craft is that you need to be moving constantly underwater. You cannot just set there because its stability... Uh, requires, or I guess the movement and stability go hand in hand on this craft. So, we're gonna set the depth to, I guess, wait, how far are we off the ground? Okay, so we're 166 to the bottom of the ocean. To be safe, we'll probably set it at, I guess, 100, maybe 75. That way it gives us a, a little bit of playroom there. So let's go, boom, okay. So we're gonna set this okay that's set and then i guess i'm gonna throttle up throttle lever okay here it is throttle lever so let's go boom all right so throttle lever's up what did i do wrong here let's see use out to hold set to depth use throttle lever and move to keep stable on i need to dive it down let's see if i can get this thing to go down real quick I feel like that altitude set, is that from sea level? Do I need to go negative 75 on that? Hold on, let's try that real quick. Okay, so, oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's negative 75. Oh, check that out. All right, so there it goes. Uh, hold on, let's get those, let's see, floodlights. Let's turn those on now. That is awesome. Okay, do we have anything else we need to probably turn on with this? No, I think we're good. So, we went from being in the air. It's already a great aircraft, uh, VTOL, rescue ship, and now we are officially a submarine, too. This is probably the most versatile craft I've ever seen. Like, I, I don't know any that do this, or at least quite this good. This is ridiculous. All right, so we're moving. So, the batteries do appear to be draining faster down here, so I'm assuming that the batteries are generating off maybe the propulsion and the VTOL engines. Now, I don't want to... Is there any backup modes here for batteries? It's going to keep moving, right? Yeah, it's still... Hold on. Yeah, it's moving at 18 knots right now. Uh, is there an airlock or anything in here? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that... Okay, so, look. It actually locks... Uh-oh. What's that? What's that sound? What warning are we getting here? Uh, alarm. Alarm for what? Uh, are we close to the ground, or...? No, I think we're good. Yeah, this thing has a lockdown system for every lock, so you will not be able to unlock the hatches right now. Oh, low battery al alarm. See, how... I, I probably need to read again. There's got to be a way to, uh, I guess, maybe charge the battery under here? Or is there a backup battery switch somewhere? Okay, I'm not seeing anything about that, but hold on. Let's go ahead and turn off submarine mode. So we're back in airborne mode. So, in theory, let me go ahead and just... Let's go maybe 100 here. So we'll go boom. Let's go ahead, reset those. All right. Hopefully it's going to be lifting us. Yeah, we appear to be... We're starting to correct ourselves. I think we're going to lift here. All right, let's see if we can get this thing... Yeah, you can see the distance to the ground is increasing now. So let's see if we can fire this thing up and take back off from the water. But you do see that the submarine mode does indeed work. Uh, very, very cool. I don't know about the battery. I need to read up on that. Uh, because the battery does drain pretty quick. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we're good there. All right, so I'm assuming I can crank VTOL engines. There it goes. Those are going to spool up. Let's check battery. Battery is... Looks like it's draining slower now. So we've got that. Okay, I'm going to turn VTOL... I'm actually going to turn the altitude hold off, and I'll manually lift this out of the ground, or off the water, I should say. I don't want to turn the propulsion on yet. I want to let this spool up, potentially. Hold on, turn that off. I'm um, trying to... There it goes. Okay, so we got fire here. All right, let's see if we can lift this out of the water. There it goes. Oh, that is so sweet. So the VTOL work fine in the water. So you're good there. All right, let's go and turn on propulsion engines. Let those kick on. And we should be ready to go. So let's let those fire real quick. Come on, baby. Fire those up. Waiting for it. Let's go and turn back towards the creative base. I believe it's this way. I think. 
Alright, let's see. Is there anything else we should know? Batteries are... they're No, they're still draining right now. Okay, think, think, think. Hold on, let's turn off the floodlights real quick. Alright, I think those... Uh, I think the uh, propulsion just fired up. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn on altitude hold. Let's get it climbing again. Battery's at 60. Okay, the battery's still slowly draining, so... What I want to do, I'm going to tell this thing to return home here. So let's go ahead and set a waypoint. All right. Let's go input new waypoint here. We'll see if we can land this thing. Autopilot on. Okay, so it's going to turn. And it's going to take us back to base here. Man, that is something. So we've flown out here. Uh, it's got all the really nice features. It's got missiles on it. It's It can be a submarine of all things. I mean, that's already ridiculous enough. And then now we're uh, we're actually heading back to base right now. Everything's looking pretty good. Battery's a little low. I'm going to look up some more about that, but I feel like... Oh, look at it. It's charging now. All right, so it's now generating battery. So it's really just the submarine mode that seems to drain it quite a bit. Okay, I got you. Oh, look at that. You can see uh, it's a wind farm right below us. <laughs> that camera actually works pretty decent. All right, here we are. We have arrived at the base here. So let's go ahead and turn off our altitude hold and autopilot. So we're going to bring her in. Uh, yeah, we're not crashing here today, folks. I know a lot of my episodes end up in crashes, but today I want to bring this baby home because this might be my new favorite craft in Stormworks. Uh, I strongly suggest if you can uh, run it, check it out. It is just a little laggy on the ground, but man, once you get in the air, it's really not that bad. So here we go. Let's lower the landing gear should be automatic. Uh, let's make sure I'm going to go forward a little bit here. Make sure our tail uh, clears those rocks. And we should be able to lift down. All right, let's keep going. I like even how I'm pressing all the way down right now, but it's not really aggressive. Like, it's not going to slam itself down. So I feel like I can just keep it down. We'll uh, watch for those landing gear, and we should be good to go here. All right, here we go. And there goes landing gear. Okay, let's touch down. Okay, touch down. By the way, I do have damage on, too, so... Uh, we didn't damage anything there. It looks good. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go through a shutdown procedure. Let's go and turn off VTOL engines. There we go. All right, those are going to kill themselves there. Sweet. Lights, uh, I guess we'll turn off some of those. Close the doors. Bridge lights are off. All right, uh, we're almost ready to go here. Let's go ahead and open that bottom up. I'm going to climb out the bottom here, even though I think those work by themselves. And let's go ahead and power down. There we go. Crafts powered down. All right. We can drop out the bottom here. And there we go. Oh, forgot to turn off a set of lights, but we're done. That is it. That was a successful landing and everything. Uh, yeah, you can definitely use that as a very good uh, rescue craft. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode, folks. I am so impressed right now. Lorgs, that was awesome. <laughs> that is, wow. It uh, kind of leaves you speechless that you can do stuff like that in Stormworks. So I do look forward to where this is all heading. Uh, all the creations are getting way crazy. And also, real quick, with the whole fact that they're adding solid rocket boosters and stuff like that, do you guys think how we had the Arctic biome, do you think that we're going to maybe see something space-related soon? I mean, even if it just changed and just changed over to black and you can kind of see maybe a little bit of a globe, that would be amazing. Man, space works. That could be a thing, too. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support, and we will see you guys next time.